In less than six hours, the entire state of Georgia will be under a shelter in place order. Governor Brian Kemp issuing that order, which runs for 10 days until April 13th. It begins at 6 p.m. Georgia joining at least 38 states across the country under stay at home orders. It covers everything from which businesses are closed to under which circumstances you can leave your home. But basically stay at home unless you're part of essential service or doing necessary travel. And that can be anything from going to the grocery store or pharmacy to getting takeout. Community leaders all across the state are taking a closer look at their guidelines in light of this statewide stay at home order to see what what they'll need to start enforcing beginning tonight. Mara Sirianni joins us. She has the process for One Georgia City. Friday, LaGrange city leaders comparing locally passed ordinances with Georgia's statewide order. The governor's asking for voluntary compliance. We've been asking for that locally. Generally, I think we've been getting voluntary compliance. City officials say Governor Kemp's order mimics many provisions already in place throughout much of Troop County like asking non-essential businesses to close. If you have to ask the question, is it okay if I do this? I would assume that it's not okay. The governor also asking people not to hold in-person church services. City leaders in LaGrange agree it's just too dangerous. Several community outbreaks can be directly attributed to recent in-person church services and funeral services. Police Chief Lou DeMarc says social distancing has been somewhat of a challenging concept for some in the community. We have had um, some, some difficulty, uh, I think, uh, folks understanding the need to maintain that separation. While there is no curfew in place, officers in LaGrange will respond and offer citations accordingly if people are in groups deliberately disobeying the ordinance. Governor Kemp's order is now the statewide rule of law and it supersedes all local city and county ordinances. That was Mara Sirianni reporting.